this is Stampy, and welcome to a Skylanders Trap Team Let's Play. I am playing as Popfizz, who is my most favourite Skylander in all of the world, but I will not be remaining as him. I'm going to switch out to a new Skylander right about now, and uh, I'm actually starting to lose track of which Skylanders I have played as and which ones I haven't. But I'm pretty sure I haven't played as this dragony fellow. Please allow me to introduce Fucking you to... Shot. Blades. And here he is. Uh, he's kind of a, um, a Spyro the Dragon type one, I guess. Uh, he seems to be a little bit faster. I don't know. He seems a bit speedy. He seems very streamlined. He seems much faster. And this is his sword is a, is a tail. No, wait. His tail is a sword. But I guess you could say either way around, couldn't you? <laughs> his sword is a tail and his tail is a sword as well. This guy looks cool. And I think I can see why he's called Blades. <laughs> anyway, let's go and speak to Flynn and uh, begin the next challenge. We are about to head to the Mystic Mill. I am so fired up to be back in the game, Skylander. You missed flying with me, didn't ya? Come on, admit it. Good. Now let's go save this magical, mystical mill place. I did actually uh, boom, miss him a bit. Boom and boom! Now fasten your safety belt, Skylander. It's about to be an awesome ride. Flynn is actually one of my, my favourite characters, and it was a little bit sad when he hurt his leg. Anyway, let's go to the Mystic Mill. Seems to be lots of wooden enemies. Hmm, maybe playing as a, a fire Skylander would be more effective. Then again, it is now raining, so maybe not. a storm like this sure is tough. For any pilot other than the great Captain Flynn, that is. Boom! <laughs> Case in point, those guys. Must be the Mabu Defense Force. I'll tell you what, Skylander, how about you leap on board and check things out? I don't know. I have a, a feeling this Skylander. isn't the Mabu Defense Force. Thank oh no, maybe it is. Some creepy creatures boarded our ship, locked us up, and steered us right into the storm. Not a real good day for us here. Okay, so maybe we're not heading straight to the... if you to the flight deck and regain control of the ship, Things will definitely take a turn for the better. Okay, well, I guess we're not heading straight to the Mystic Mill then. I guess we're uh, going to hang out on the Mabu flagship and uh, try and take out some of the googlies that got on board. Uh, it seems like I need to go. Can I break my way through this? I don't seem to be able to. Oh, do you think if I push the box down there, uh, then I'm going to be able to jump up to the top, right? Come on, Blades. It's kind of <laughs> slipping and sliding all over the place up here. A little bit to the left, and there we go. I was able to drop it down. And now I can jump my way up. But let's see what moves I can do then. Oh, what's this? What did I shoot then? Oh, look, I can shoot a bunch of blades. That's pretty cool. And uh, I can also just attack using the, the blades that are on my wing and my little tail as well. Look, I kind of fire it out and spin it around. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And look at the, the boxes <laughs> floating around here because we're all sailing on the ship. Oh, no, no, no. Come back up. Come back up. Whoa! God, I'm going to get seasick. Or I suppose it's not seasick. It's air sick. I don't know. I'm going to get cloud sick. <laughs> if it keeps rocking around like this. And oh, can I, can I get down here? Can I break through this little hole? Hmm. There seems to be a suspicious circle here. And I don't know what it does. Okay. Well, I guess we will leave it for now. Right, there's another box here. Would you reckon if I push this box onto that circle? It will... Oh, there goes the box. <laughs> Is it going to give me a new one? There we go. I got a new box. Oh, no, don't go off this side, please. I only just got the other one. Let's try pushing it onto that circle. I don't know if it is going to do anything, uh, but we might as well give it a go anyway. Let's see if we can do it without this box falling off as well. Oh, steady, steady. Oh, no. <laughs> it's falling down this hole here. This might actually be where I'm supposed to, to get it to anyway, possibly. All right, let's, let's move it along a little bit. Oh, no, it's going to go too far to the other side. <laughs> do you reckon I'm going to... If I just jump on the box, actually, as it goes past, I can... Hoop, there we go. I was able to, to jump back up. But let's try and do the, the same thing again then, shall we? If I jump up here and then there we go. I was able to get to the, the end, and this is where the, the old steering wheel is then, I guess. Uh, regain control of the flagship. I did it. Thanks for taking back our ship, Skylander. We owe you one. No now worries. Need, Chris, a danger is its own reward. Danger, and of course, lots of enchiladas, which I'm assuming you have. Might also be good to get some help saving the mill from those terrible doom rays. Of course! Only problem is that we can't land with all those big guns down there. Ah, looks like we are heading to the mill. I'll tell you what, Grizz. You just leave those big guns down there to the big guns up here. The Skylander and I'll take them out. 
boom style. Right, looks like we need to take out the, the guns, and then the Mabu flagship will be able to land safely on the Mystic Mill. Okay, Skylander, let's make those oh, here cannons we go. Here we go. Right, before. let's go take them out. Because I'm the um, uh, playing as an air element, uh, I'm going to be shooting my, my air weapon to try and take all of these guys out. And uh, there we go, that's that's that gun destroyed. Does, does this count? Do I need to keep shooting it? No, nope, that's that cannon down. Here we go, we're going on to the next cannon now. I guess if we shoot the cannon first, then we're going to go and try and take out these little guys. They seem to be only equipped with swords, so I don't know how much damage they're going to do. They're literally just kind of looking at us and just waving their swords at us. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's not really doing anything. It's kind of... It's kind of just fun. It's kind of like a bit like a duck hunt well, game, you know? They're just sort of moving along and not attacking back. Well, this guy, this guy looks like he might be attacking back, though. He seems to have a, a shield as well. Oh, what's this? Aha! I got a little, a little shiny thing, a little a little bonus thing. Uh, hopefully, and this is going to be getting me lots of money. And oh, this guy's shooting back. What was that? His, his mouth was like a cannon then. <laughs> right, there we go. There's another cannon down here we need to take out. And uh, I need to take out this little guy first. And then there's this big guy here. You can see he's got a big shield. He seems pretty strong, but he was holding the shield the, the wrong way. Well, I've got my, my elemental attack ready. Right, let's go and do the big attack then, shall we? I should be doing some, some extra damage. Oh, look, I've frozen them all in place. That's what the, the air one does. If I use my special attack, I freeze everyone where they are, and then they can't shoot back at me. That was uh, pretty handy there. Right, there seems to be another cannon here. I can take that out. And I can go and try and take out a few of these guys. But then again, they're the ones that don't shoot back at me. So it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. <laughs> oh, no, there's a biggie here, though. There's a biggie here. Oh, no, no, the little one here. These guys are pretty tough. There we go. I got that guy quickly. And uh, let's go try and take out the big guy. Oh, he's aiming at me. He's aiming at me. There we go. I was able to take him out, though. And uh, let's take out this cannon as okay. well. There we go. Took it out. Excellent. Another one down there. I guess I can do that to get some more points. I got my elemental attack as well. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to wait until there are more enemies about. And uh, then I'll use it so I can freeze them all in place. I didn't really need to, to use it yet. I'm probably going to save it for ages and then, like, never use it anyway. I always do that. Whenever I get a good power up or something, I always just save it for ages and never end up using it because I don't want to waste it. Now, I think, though, uh, we might have been able to, to take out all of the, the cannons, though. Uh, there we go. Look, the, the Mabu flagship. Uh, has landed safely, all thanks to us. Uh, turret sequence complete. Uh, oh, I only got two out of four of the, the gems. Uh, I got some bonus money for it, though. Uh, not very much bonus money, but a little bit of bonus money. <laughs> Outstanding! Now we can take back the mill on foot! I've Our never seen the... go along with you and help fight these Evilican super creeps. Plus, they're pretty handy, which, believe me, will come in handy. Like when it's time to take down this big gate here. Just get him there safely, Skylander. If you need reinforcements, hang back a minute, and I'll send more soldiers out. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. I've never seen the, uh, the Mabu looking at all useful, you know? Normally they're just, I don't know, they just don't do anything, but they actually look like they might be able to help out a little bit. I don't know, have the Mabu ever helped me do anything? Normally I'm doing it all myself. But there seems to be a little hut down here. Hopefully this isn't an outhouse. Oh no, it's not. It's, uh, it seems to be some sort of lumber mill. There's some nice wooden furniture down here, which I'm going to smash and get some money from. And there seems to be a random guy here. Do you reckon he's going to try and play some Sky Stone with me? Uh, sure, no. It seems to be something different. Uh, sure beats keys. I was supposed to be the foreman of this mill, but those Evilikin barricaded me out of my own office. Only thing that can cut through this enchanted wood is one of those giant shreddnaught machines. You don't happen to have a spare one just lying around somewhere, do you? I do, but he's not with me. I don't think uh, he's the character uh, that I have um, inside of my elemental trap, so I can't actually uh, do this mission yet. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could come back and do this level later and uh, make sure I've got the, the right shop. villain uh, in my traptanium trap, and uh, then I'd be able to do it. So it doesn't matter for now. On to this the Mystic looks like Mill. This a spot for my handy soldiers that come in handy. Just call them over here, and they'll build you something to get up to that key. Ah, so I guess that not only taking out the, the enemies, uh, but they're also going to be able to build things to help me out. Right, there seems to be some sort of workbench here. Uh, they can go and... Oh, they're building something. Oh, that was quick. Look at that. Ah, ah, that didn't take long at all, is it? Is it definitely secure scaffolding? Should I feel safe going up here? This seems to seem to hold out okay. All right, we got the, the key, and uh, we should be able to use that 
uh, to get through the door. Let me just go and gather up a, a little bit more money as we go. Uh, so that way later on, uh, I should be able to uh, buy one or two new moves uh, for Blades. But not now. For now, it looks like we're going to have to be taking out these guys. Blades, to be honest, seems pretty tough. A lot of the time... Uh, when I switch to a new Skylander, uh, they struggle just a little bit. <laughs> Normally they're a little bit underpowered, but Blades, uh, despite uh, only being level 1 and uh, not having any new moves, seems to be holding his own. I've also uh, been able to, to find a uh, story scroll here, and I leveled up as well because of it. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Still not read any of these things, but it's nice to it's nice to know they're available in case I want to. And there seems to be another two rooms here. Do you reckon uh, there are going to be a few more bonus missions? I want to do a bonus mission for the Dream Catcher. You may remember in my last episode, I defeated one of the, the Doom Raiders and captured her, the Dream Catcher. And uh, here she is. I want to see if I can do some some missions for for her. And she seems to be she seems to be pretty cool. She's got some rather powerful looking moves. So uh, I do actually I want to play as her for a, a little bit uh, later on. Uh, maybe if things get a little bit too tough for Blades, uh, then I can uh, switch out to the, the Dreamcatcher and uh, do a little bit of uh, battling as her. And I do actually remember, uh, I think uh, the first ever Soul Gem I got uh, was for Blades, so I should be able to, to use that uh, in order to, to get him some, some new moves. Uh, and is this going to fire out on any money? This normally fires out some money. If I keep switching the song, it uh, normally eventually gives me a, a whole bunch of money, but this one seems to be being a little bit mean and not giving me any money. Broadcasting out of somewhere. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there just broadcasting as well. And uh, let's go and have a quick look inside this building and see uh, what we have here. Ah, this person wants to play some some Skystone Smash by the looks of things. Uh, let's uh, listen to the, the radio as we do so then, shall we? <laughs> and uh, anyway, let's go speak to them and uh, let's give them a game. Greetings, Skylander. I'm the owner of this sawmill. Or at least I used to be before this whole Evilican hostile takeover thing. Anyway, I'm coping with my present situation by playing a lot of Skystone Smash. Fancy a game? Yeah, let's do it. Good I love choice. this minigame. Now let's forget all about those awfully villikin for a minute or two. This is also a great way to get a whole load of money. And yay, they got Peñata. <laughs> One of my favorite villains. All right, let's go and uh, have this game then. Uh, I'm just going to assume uh, that by now you know how to play this game. I normally explain the rules every Great single time day. and uh, you're probably absolutely bored of it by now. So <laughs> I'm not going to explain the rules again. Let's just go and uh, jump straight into the game then, shall we? Uh, so here's four health and uh, this one does two damage. If I send out this guy, uh, then he should be able to, to very easily uh, take out the little thing that he sent out. So uh, there we go. That uh, did some good damage. And then in the Jump next round, uh, he's only going to do one damage to me. Uh, but I should do a whole bunch to him. Right, that one's got lots of health, but only does uh, one attack. Um, oh, what does this person do? Uh, does two damage to the other player. Um, oh, oh, it just actually damages their player straight away. Ah, that's um, that's pretty useful actually. But he, uh, she would get killed in um, in one hit though. She's only got one health. Um, I might save. I might. Save. I might send out this guy uh, because Chef he uh, is going to go and do damage uh, to all of the the other players. Uh, cards and so it's gonna hurt both the the chest thing uh, as well as that other little thing whatever it is <laughs> And have you noticed though that their character has 20 health in the top right corner? Uh, you can see how much health they have so they've started off with 20 and I only have 10 which is um a little bit worrying. They have uh, double the, the health as me uh, to start off, uh, as so they certainly seem to be trying to, to ramp up the, the old uh, difficulty here. Anyway, let's go and uh, try and very easily uh, take out this chest. If I send out uh, Chomping Mage, Chomping uh, it's going to bo uh, boost Heart my health boost. up by two, and uh, then I'm also going to be able to, to take out the chest, and then the uh, the Peñata <laughs> is going to do a little bit of damage to, to their character, uh, but is also going to be taken out at the same time. So uh, overall, uh, I think this move uh, is going to help me out because I take out one of their cards and then they take out uh, one of mine, uh, but at least I was able to, to put my health up. But it's definitely getting more difficult though. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to start thinking a little bit more. Uh, so that one does two damage. If I send out... Oh no, that would kill him, wouldn't it? Um, let's send out let's send out this woman though uh, because the uh, the older dream catcher, dream catcher. Uh, because she uh, is gonna do Lightning some damage uh, to their actual character which is good seeing as he uh, has so much health to start off with uh, taking away a little bit of help uh, is gonna do pretty good uh, she is gonna get taken out at the same time uh, but then again she is gonna take out their character so I think once again overall uh, I did win that turn hey, see my health yatta. is up to and uh, his is down to I just need to to get rid of some of his cards oh, he's got two up and I've only got one um, so that one's got four health. If I do this, then they're just going to trade. 
And if I do this one, uh, then uh, I'm going to get taken out. I oh, know I won't get taken out. I'm just going to do a bit of damage. Um, let's send out. Let's send out this guy then. Uh, this guy's pretty tough. He's one of the uh, one of the the villains I got quite recently. Uh, so let's send him out, and then at least they should be able to take each other out. I think I'm actually doing worse here than they are. Look, they've got they've got a broccoli guy up. This is actually going very very badly, and I'm down to my final card. And I guess it doesn't really matter too much where I place. Actually, let me place it next to broccoli Ice guy uh, because I'll be able to to take out broccoli guy, uh, but I wouldn't be able to have taken out Chill Bill. But I don't look. They did some damage to me. I believe this is actually the first time anyone has ever done damage to me uh, during one of these games. And so I'm not actually sure what happens with overtime. I think we just keep attacking. I think they just keep hitting. Uh, who's going to win here then though? This is actually pretty tense because I do twice the amount of damage, but he did have a lot more health than me to start. I actually think that I think that I might actually be able to win this. Yeah, I will win because I'm going to take him out in five more turns. Uh, because I do 2 damage and he had 10 health uh, because obviously 2 times times 5 is 10. Uh, but he only does 1 damage uh, so he needs another 5 moves from now. Which means even though it looked like I was going to lose, I was just about able to win. That was close though. Look, we both have 4 health but luckily uh, I am doing twice the amount of damage. So at least I know uh, what happens to these games uh, if it ends up getting really close. And there we go. I was just only just able to win with two health left. <laughs> oh dear, I was able to defeat Packard. And whoa, got a lot of money for it too. Wow, how'd you get so good at Skystone Smash? Did the Avilican invade your town and steal your business as well? Success nope, is mine. I am just that too, I'm just that good. <laughs> that was good fun. Because uh, I think up until now, uh, a lot of the, the games have probably been a little bit too easy, to be honest. I think I, I was winning them uh, too easy, that it just wasn't as much fun because there was no real challenge. But that was close. That was close. I won by the skin of my teeth and uh, I got lots of money uh, for blades as well. So hopefully uh, a little bit later on, uh, I am going to be able to give him a bit of an upgrade so I can uh, buy one or two new moves. Anyway, Mabu Defense Force, follow my lead. Onwards and upwards, we need to try and uh, stop the Doom Raiders uh, from taking over this Mystic Mill. And uh, here are a few uh, of these enemies around here. And uh, look how good Blades is doing. He does lots of damage. And that move where I fire all of these little knives out uh, is really effective because uh, if they come at me in a big group, uh, I'm able to, to take them all out in one go. There seems to be some people quite high up here, though. I think I'm going to have to climb up uh, in order to, to take them out. Because uh, Blaze doesn't have any really uh, good ranged attacks. And he is getting pretty hurt. He's dealing a lot of damage, but his defense doesn't seem to be too strong. That is um, half my health gone already, and I only took one or two hits there. But it's okay. I'm still dealing with it. And if things do start to get too tough, uh, I always have the uh, the dream catcher in my back pocket that I can switch to. And oh, oh <laughs> I thought I was off then. I thought I had just fallen off the edge of the level. And no, no, I think that was um, all of my all of my Mabu friends taken out <laughs> from one person down there. And what was that little boost pad? Did you see that? There's a little boost pad down here. I wonder where this is going to, to take me to. Oh, here we go. Whee! Aha! A nice little secret area. It looks like I've got another soul gem. And this is Torch. This is actually uh, one of the, the characters I, I have as well. Uh, so that's good. I unlocked uh, a new powerful torch. Uh, that's actually the, the character uh, that I'm thinking about playing as in the next episode. So uh, we've got a, a nice little preview there. And look at the way he flies through the air. That's so cool. <laughs> I also I saw there's a little doorway here. There seems to be... Oh, there's a few little doorways. This place is full of little buildings, isn't it? I can go through here. And if I he keep heading up as well, uh, there seems to be somewhere else for me to go. Oh, look, there's a, um, a villain stash here as well. If I switch over to the dream catcher, uh, I'll be able to, to mash, 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 potato open this up and I get even more money so it uh, looks like Blades is getting really rich uh, once I uh, do find uh, the the fairy I'm going to be able to get loads of new moves for him which is always good because uh, it's always fun starting off as the character uh, but there's already uh, always so many new moves that you can get later on uh, it's always fun to see uh, what else you can get and uh, there seem to be something else in here um, oh, what's this? Oh, there's lots of little chompies. There's lots of little chompies around here. And there's this guy hiding behind these shields. Let's go and try and use my, my knives attack that took this guy out. And whoa! <laughs> he just came charging at me with that big fan of his. 
Oh, right. oh, oh, there's a villain. Shredder. There's a villain here. The Shield Shredder. All right, this might be a little bit difficult then. This is my uh, first boss that I have faced playing as this character. And I think uh, he's sending out all of the little ones. Yeah, you can see the, the main guy is standing at the top there. And oh, look, look at this attack. That's quite good. What I might do is actually switch over to the, the Dream Catcher and see what damage she can do. She can do a bit of a ground pound where she kind of flings her hair around and smashes on the ground. She can also send out these little hooks. And I'm not sure what they do. Um, do I, I guess do they pick up enemies, maybe? I seem to fire them down and then they just fly back to me. What if I get a person in the way? Oh, look! Oh, look, they've picked them up. They've picked up the person and got her, uh, got the, the person trapped. And uh, there we go. Oh, here comes the big guy now, though. Here comes the big guy. Right, let's go and uh, switch back to Blades then. Uh, but I'd already got him trapped in that whirlwind. Oh, I am getting very hurt here. I am getting very hurt. And oh, no! Blades was taken out. I have lost that Skylander. Right, who shall we switch over to then? Who shall we bring into the fray? Uh, let's bring in... Oh, it's so difficult to decide. It's so difficult to decide. Uh, let's bring in... Uh, I just got to make a decision. There we go. Let's bring in a Wrecking Ball, shall we? Wrecking Ball is probably one of the uh, the cutest ones I have. <laughs> With a big crown on as well right now. So uh, let's bring in Wrecking Ball. And let's see how much damage he can do then. He can go and poke his tongue out. And he can he can do his little burp. Now I can finally use my little burp move. <laughs> He's actually getting a little bit stronger now. He was one of the, the weakest ones that I had. Uh, but he is getting better. I wonder what the, the burp actually does. Does it do any damage? Uh, it does actually. It did uh, 120 damage which isn't bad that's uh, the most damage I've ever done with a burp but he's getting really badly hurt now so I think I am going to have to, to switch over uh, to the the old dream catcher again and uh, go and use some of her moves uh, she sends a little whirlwind out and there's a little sheep in the whirlwind as well I don't know if you've noticed that but she sends out a little whirlwind with a tiny little sheep in and it's hard to take him out with all of these other people as well and wrecking ball is getting really hurt let's go and tag him out for someone else and uh, let's go and uh, bring in I brawl. Let's go and uh, play as I brawl for a little bit. Uh, this guy was pretty tough, and uh, so we can go and use him. He can actually make his eye fly off with some little wings and shoot lasers, which is um, quite a, quite a sight to see. <laughs> and there we go. And he can go and just sort of ground pound and do all these powerful moves as well, and send out all these little tiny eyeballs. There we go. Let's go and send out the big one, shall we, and get it firing lasers. But even he's getting really hurt. But there we go. I was finally able Shield to take out the, the villain. And so now, which trap do I need to put in? It's a, a life trap I need put to put in. Uh, so let me go and uh, pop that in. And uh, let me try and capture ah, the oh, villain. Man. I knew we shouldn't have come to this man. Shield Shredder trapped. What'd he say? Captured? Did he say I should have been a dining room table instead then? I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> okay, looks like I got to switch out Broccoli Guy. Uh, but I want to go and uh, play as Shield Shredder for a little bit. Uh, just uh, to check him out and uh, see how good uh, of a, a villain he is uh, He is going to be. And uh, here he is. Here's the, the Shield Shredder. So I can charge forward using my little shield. And uh, oh, what's this? I can also make some some big razor blade type things come out of the ground. Uh, kind of like little propellers, I guess. Uh, he seems okay. He seems to be all right. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode here. But never fear, I will be, as always, uh, uploading a, a new episode of Skylanders uh, in the future uh, as soon as I finish recording it. And uh, yeah, we're going to carry on making our way through the Mystic Mill and uh, trying to keep it safe from all of the evil Doom Raiders. Uh, but for now, now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!